All right, so what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Swagner17 back with another NFL predictions. It's going to be for week eight. But before we get into week eight, let's recap what went down in week seven. So Thursday night football, for some reason, I thought the Cardinals would win, but the Broncos obviously obliterated them. So we got that wrong. But the rest of the games, we predicted pretty well. We predicted the Chargers to win, Panthers to win, Vikings to win, Colts to win. Uh, I thought the Bears would win against the Patriots. They almost did. They, they played a pretty good game towards the end, and Patriots won, though. Uh, Browns lost. We thought the Browns would win. Um, Texans beat the Jaguars. We knew it. Lions played a great game against the Dolphins. Wasn't expecting that. Saints beat the Ravens. They got pretty lucky. Uh, Justin Tucker missed his first field goal or first extra point of his entire career, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, Redskins beat the Cowboys due to a Cowboys missed field goal at the end of the game. Rams won, of course, <clears throat> and Chiefs. I thought it was going to be a really good game, but they completely obliterated the Bengals, 45-10. to Same score as the Broncos game, 45-10. to And then Monday Night Football, Falcons beat the Giants by three points. So we went 10-4. and this week, I think that was my best win-loss ratio so far this year, and that puts my season record at 70 wins, 46 losses, so we're not doing pretty bad. So, with all that being said, let's get right into week 8. Alright, Thursday Night Football, we got the Dolphins going up against the Texans. I feel like this is going to be one of the better Thursday Night games we've seen so far. I know early in the year we had some good ones. I know the past couple weeks, not so much. And I know we got some really good ones coming up. So um, as for this week, Dolphins against the Texans. Hopefully the Dolphins, um, I'm pretty sure they got a couple players injured. But hopefully we can see them, you know, catch on fire again. And they just speed kills, you know what I'm saying? So, But the Texans, they're on a pretty good winning streak. And, I mean, they did it without J.J. Watt last week. Like, he wasn't really a factor at all in the win against the Jaguars. So, like, he didn't get any sacks or anything. <clears throat> but the rest of the Texans' defense played great. And at home, I'm going to give them the win. All right, next up, we have our second game in a row being played in London. Eagles against the Jaguars. And this is the second of four straight weeks of London games. So that's going to be pretty cool to... You know, wake up early to some good football. But, uh, you know, the Jaguars are known for being the home team in London. And even though the Jaguars have been playing really bad, and I'm pretty sure, what, Cody Kessler, whatever, is starting. I don't know how good he's going to do. And I don't want to give up on the Eagles, but I honestly think that the home field advantage in London for the Jaguars, or the, the Jaguars, is going to be good enough for them to get the win. Ravens Panthers this is obviously a potential game of the week oh my goodness you can't really go wrong with either of these picks uh, Ray Ravens came off a bad loss to the Saints or heartbreaking loss that is Panthers came off an incredible win 17 point deficit in the fourth quarter I believe so you know Cam Newton he's still got it of course he does and he's gonna have a really hard test I mean if Drew Brees was held to mediocre numbers against the Ravens defense. I don't know how Cam Newton's going to do, and I'm pretty sure their run defense will completely destroy Christian McCaffrey, so it should be interesting. And oftentimes, when I don't know who's going to win, I'll just give it to the home team. Carolina Panthers will win. All right, Broncos going into Kansas City to face the Chiefs. Um, the Broncos, they've been pretty like inconsistent. You know, they, they get blown out by the Jets and... Uh, Another, I forget who the other team was, but they've just given up a lot of rushing yards. Then they played a great game against the Cardinals, but I don't think we need to look too far into that because the Cardinals are not very good at all, so the Chiefs will win this game. All right, Browns going up against the Steelers for the second and probably final time of this year. And the last time these two teams faced was in Week 1 when they tied. Tyrod Taylor was the quarterback. Now that Baker Mayfield is the quarterback, I think he will be playing... A lot better. Um, I don't think he's going to get sacked as much. Tyrod Taylor got sacked, I don't remember, seven or eight, eight times the first week matchup, and they tied due to some crazy field goal stuff. 
And even though they are in Pittsburgh, I'm going to say upset of the week, Browns win this game. All right, this is another potential game of the week. Seahawks against the Lions in Detroit. Um, the Lions, I don't know. I really don't know what to think about them. Their running game has improved a lot, and Matthew Stafford is always going to be, you know, pretty decent, if you will. Seahawks defense, obviously not the same. And they did just come off a of bye week, but let's hope that they just got they just get complacent after a good win. And hopefully the Lions are motivated because their division is very tough. So I'm going to pick the Lions to win this game. All right, we got a lot of tough games going on this week. It's hard to choose some of these, but we got the Buccaneers who had a great win against the Browns last week and the Bengals coming off an embarrassing loss. And I said it last week. I said the Bengals are going to lose and they're going to need to bounce back the next week, which is exactly what they're going to do. And they're going to beat the Bengals or they're going to beat the Buccaneers at home. All right, Jets against the Bears. You don't really ever know what you're going to get with the Jets, but the Bears are somewhat consistent. You know, they're scoring a lot of points. Mitchell Trubisky is playing great football. And if the running game can get going against the Jets, the, um, the Jets really have no no chance at all. Uh, Khalil Mack was kind of shut down against the Patriots, but I think in this game he's going to have at least two sacks, and the Bears will win the game. Redskins, Giants, I don't really need to talk about this one. The Giants just traded away two very talented players for basically nothing, and the Redskins are on fire, so the Redskins will win this game. Colts against the Raiders. The Raiders did just come off a bye week, but it doesn't matter. The Colts are going to win this game. 49ers against the Cardinals. I think this is going to be a pretty good game. Um, the Cardinals are just not playing good football at all. And I think the 49ers, you know, they're, they're trying... <laughs> They're trying their best, and, you know, I'm going to give them the win on this game. All right, these next two games are potential game of the years. Not game of the week, game of the years. We have the Green Bay Packers going up against the Los Angeles Rams, and Aaron Rodgers just came off a bye week, and he had to do all the preparation he could to prepare for this game, and you know he's going to do it. But the Rams, they have that home field advantage, and I think for the first time ever, they're going to be really put to the test. I think the Rams are still going to win it, but I think it's going to be by three points or less. All right. Nobody is more excited to see this game than me. Um, Saints against the Vikings. Uh, for some reason, it's in Minnesota again. Like, the Saints went to Minnesota two times last year. When will the Saints ever face the Vikings in, the, in New Orleans, where we will definitely win? So, obviously, the Vikings are on fire, literally. Adam Thielen cannot be stopped. I don't think the Saints could even stop him, honestly. And Stephon Diggs hasn't been really doing much. Uh, we need to watch out for Latavius Murray. I know he, the Vikings running game, as far as scoring, they're absolute last. They've only scored like one rushing touchdown. But I don't think that's going to be really a problem. We just got to get to Kirk Cousins. We got to stop him, make him throw bad footballs which he's not good at. Somehow he's very good. <laughs> he's a very good quarterback, I'll say that. So the Saints got to get after him, and I know Drew Brees, Drew Brees will have no problem keeping up with the Vikings. It's just going to be a matter of causing pressure on Kirk Cousins to make mistakes. And with all that being said, I think the Saints will get their revenge, and they will win this football game on Sunday night. All right, Patriots against the Bills. I don't even need to say anything here. You guys know who I'm picking. Obviously, the Bills. Just kidding, the Patriots. And that is going to be it for today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of my picks. And let me know how your team is doing this season. So that is going to be it for the video. And until my next one, deuces.